Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement as I'm going to attempt to watch season one, episode two of the YouTube series. Hell of a boss. Okay, y'all. I know I heard, I heard the rumor that you could pretty much post the whole reaction up here and it would be fine with copyright. And the answer to that is no, that's not true. Four attempts, four attempts the last time trying to make it possible. Mm -mm. I think um, Bibsy Pop caught on the clue that the rights that they had had originally set to their videos was losing the money. So we'll tempt it again. I will keep trying because believe me, the least I have to edit these, the better off I am. But we'll see what we'll get. We'll see what we get. We've been introduced to this, this ring of hell. Not sure exactly what this ring is. I know some of you all have, have tried to explain it to me. But we have Blitz, and I'm gonna call him Blitz, so even though the O is silent, we have him and his little gang of people who help take out revenge on people who are topside in a very interesting way. Chaos, comedy, and trauma ensuing. Yay, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna get under the big, cozy, comfy blanket. You're gonna get yourselves all ready as well. And yeah, let's get to it. got kids. I had a dream. A really bad dream. I was looking all over the palace and I couldn't find you anywhere. There, there, Via. It's okay. You're okay. Oh, it's Grimoire. No matter what happens to me, I will never be far away from my special little starfire. It always seems more quiet. In the dark, it always feels so stark. Oh, okay. It's got powers. As the stars start to align, I hope you take it. This is very unexpected. You will be okay. When I'm gone, you'll be okay. You can fall asleep with the galaxies blowing apart around you. <laughs> Must be really tired. You can find me in the sky upon the lost day. And you will be okay. You left with an and now Oh, has time passed? And now Tiny Child's a teenager? King the world is burning down around me. You want to fuck this one too? No, of course not. I'm not spending another moment looking at your pathetic, imp-sucking face! Oh, is this post blitz off the balcony? What's that you're listening to? This song is called My World is Burning Down Around Me. Is that a zebra? It's a zebra stick. I haven't taken you to your favorite place in all of hell. Why don't we go to Lululand? I'd rather kill myself. There we go. Anything but staying in this house. Now, I'll arrange our security. Security for a theme park? We're rich and we're hot. People want our money and our bodies. Our oh, money, maybe. Speak for yourself, princess. I'm calling the only man who can f me. What? Who can protect me? Us. <laughs> You're such a good boss. Yeah, I really want you, sir. Me too. Let's three way. <laughs> Why, hello, my big dick blitzy. <laughs> what? The fuck? Dad! Language, everyone. <laughs> I'm taking my daughter to Lululand, and I was hoping you brave little imps would accompany us. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Money. Done! <laughs> pay me what? Money. <laughs> Lululand? Lululand? Lululand! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> it doesn't look very... Oh, no. Me and my crew are not here to satisfy your perverted bird needs, alright? Hey, Dad, 
Do we have to? I'm okay. Do we have to? I'm literally going to be sick. Oh, crumbs. I knew today would be a lot. What do you need? Antacids? Ibuprofen? Morphine? That was figurative, old man. Oh, right. <laughs> <gasps> oh! Look! It's big, lovely! <laughs> that is deeply upsetting. You've never been here? No. Theme parks always disturb me, especially the mascots. Well, hey there! <laughs> ah, I'm Lulu! Welcome to Lulu Land! So who, who, what did this person do in hell to get this job? I mean, how did they earn their way to hell to this job? You know what I mean? That chick's creepy, huh? Yeah, wait till her dad tries to diddle your holes. What's that mean? Funnel cakes and infinite suffering sounds delicious. <laughs> That's what it's doing. Ooh. Ooh, there are assassins out there. It's quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch, I'm working. You both need to get a room. <gasps> oh, look, Thea! You used to cry such tears of joy at this show. Oh, no. Yeah, tears of joy, all right. I hate, I hate that, that fucking, fucking clown. clown. Oh, Blitzy, I need my bodyguard, please. <laughs> They were trying to, try to, huh, huh. Step right up and win a thing. Win a thing. <laughs> That's how it feels like. It's a thing. Finally, some thing I can handle. Ow, strike one. You gotta push it over. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. The target, see? It didn't go down. Oh, how delightful. <gasps> <laughs> oh, I can't do this anymore. Oh, is that lit so my sensor spot up air? I guess the kitties are still running away from you, huh? Bitch, I make more money killing people than you do being a cheap-ass robo-ripoff of an overrated sellout jester! <laughs> Someone's salty! But I'm really good with guns now. Dance, bitch! <laughs> Uh. Man, you're really starting to make this sad. You know, if you suck, you suck. He's burning it like a oh. Right. Let me try. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sir? Oh, hey guys. You should probably go. Uh... Everything's on fire. Oh, what a mouth. Are we in the clowns a robot? Leave me alone, Octavia. <laughs> um, I think I'm supposed to be bodyguarded right now. <gasps> Good job, Millie. Octavia. I take it you are <laughs> not having fun. I thought you loved it here. When I was a kid and my parents didn't hate each other. My dad didn't flirt with a weird red dickhead the entire time. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. You ruined it. <gasps> oh. I haven't been... Ha we weren't in... I I'm sorry, I, I, I don't have the words. Are you gonna run off with him and leave me behind? Go away where... I can't find you. What? I'd never do that. <laughs> He's going to take care of you himself. Oh, can we go to Stylish Colts? They sell weird taxidermy there. Hmm, okay. <laughs> You're okay sometimes. Thank you, Via. Thank you. Another good thing, sir. That slutty toy clown had it coming. <laughs> okay, cat. I love this song. You are a fly king. Oh, my God. 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 O
<gasps> oh. Tawanda, y'all. Tawanda. <laughs> Ooh, look at those shoes. Oh, shit. Barasica. Barasica? I should have known you'd be here. I can smell fish for miles, which is odd because I believe the nearest ocean is three rings down. I'm surprised they let your fat ass out of rehab. I can see you're still a drunken whore clutching onto that Bielsa juice bottle like it's the last cock in hell. They let me out because I'm still famous and rehab is for sad loser wash-ups. So your sister says hi. <laughs> this is the only parking spot my company has. Actually, prick, it has my name on it. A week? No, no, you are not parking here for a fucking week. Aw, you mad blitzo. You gonna run off, leaving someone else to pay for the hotel room, steal their car, and run, run three, three rings, rings to rap, and max, max my credit, credit cards card on, on shitty, shitty horse, horse riding, riding lessons? lessons? God damn it, whore, you will not let that go. <laughs> so what, so what did you do up on earth that when you died and went to hell, you got the super cool horns and the super cool tail. Cause I want that tail. If I were to be an imp devil thing. You know Verasica Mayday? Huh? Oh yeah, her, yeah, we dated. You dated a pop star. Okay, why are you all acting like that's such a shock? Hello, it's Verasica Mayday. It's you? <laughs> You are all making this into a way bigger deal than it needs to be. I don't pry into your stupid personal lives. You do that all totally kinds of time, yeah. sir. What was sex with her like? Billy! It's a pop star. You'd want to know what sex with Michael Crawford was like. Touche. Okay, look, let's just drop it. <laughs> That's such a weird pull. <laughs> do not say that's what she said. How about you let me go in and try to reason with her? I don't really listen to what's classified as pop genre music. So her status to me is name recognition alone. In my it happens to me often as well. And it is actually rather important for us to retain the singular parking space we were assigned because... Aw, look at the little one. I... Wanna kiss you, little guy? A kind offer, but... I'm married. <laughs> I... I gotta go lie down now. If you're gonna be shitty to my employees, then I challenge you to a fucking... challenge. What's the game then, Blitzo? Wait, what was the name on the tattoo she has crossed out? I'm gonna have to make it super big. So I bet you suck, you bitches, can't fuck as many people as we can off by the end of the day. What kind of challenge is that? All right, shut your assholes. Here's how we're gonna do this shit. First, we find a fuck ton of clients. We portal up. We have our fun murder time as per usual. We pile all the bodies into a big fucking canoe. We push said canoe into some water. We win the bet. We rub it in that sloppy bitch's drunken whore ass face. Do you have any questions? Hey, is there a way I can come with you guys this time? Sorry, sweetie. Spring break is no place for young, vulnerable goth girls. You know the kind of freaks up there who drool all over you. I think that's why she wants to go. Say that again. I can blend in. Do you have a human disguise? Yeah, don't you? <laughs> you three have been screwing around on Earth this whole fucking time without human disguises? Okay, new plan. <laughs> now we wait. There is no way we are going to get enough clients by the end of the day with one poorly spelled bad grammar flyer. We saw that coming. Oh, loony. This is her power? A power. Do all hellhounds have this power? Really, that's all it takes? Is that really how it takes? <laughs> this is too easy. <laughs> that's nine kills in the bag. All right, it's free. 
Oh, so she has a human costume. She's planning on massacring all these people. This isn't good. Catch some rays while catching some D. Gosh damn it! That bitch started her goatish mating call. Is he on the list, Looney? Huh? Yeah, I, I think so. Good! She know him? Whoa, what are you? A leprechaun? <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, huh? You sure shit ain't gonna tell nobody. Alright, next one, Looney, come on. Looney, Straight to Bone Town. <laughs> Wait, did she say she take it straight to Bone Town? <laughs> Is that these lyrics? Hey, you to this. You're the hound working for my boss's freaky ex. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if that's, that's so... weird. I'm Luna. But my friends call me Tex. Oh yeah? I wish I had friends. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I don't, I, I... I feel her. I feel her a lot. Interrupting something? Nah, man, just having a conversation. Conversation leads to HPV. And we've lost him. Sure. I just wanted to see what was so important that you'd be distracted from your job. What, I can't have a break? We have a parking spot on the line. Why can't you stay out of my face for like five minutes? Because I adopted you. Oh, what does it matter? You're not my real dad. Oh. I didn't need you then, asshole. I don't now. So another episode with father-daughter trauma. Ugh. Oh my god, it's a fucking possum. Oh crumb. I got it. Beer, oh, beer, hey, beer, hey, possum. Beer, possum. Let's, I'm. Enjoy your break, Looney. I'm gonna go kill something. <laughs> Moxie! Billy! Hi! Hey, what did you get for heads? I wanna kiss him. <laughs> the slug seaweed thingy fish thing? Yes. Yes, it is. And it went after Mox. What? Did she have to kill him for his shirt? Did she? I'm <laughs> so excessive. So excessive. Running from the speech. I love that woman. Oh, she totally pegs you, doesn't she? That was handled rather obvious. I don't think this belonged to any of us. Would be a shame if anyone found out you guys were behind a giant monster fish in the human world. So why did she throw it back at her if she's going to use it to blackmail her? You three nasty-ass gremlins will be in shit for not being in disguises. A human called me a possum. We could keep this little B-movie scene on the down low if you agree to let us use that parking space. Fine. We fucking won! So who would they get in trouble with again? But hey, if you're ever down to party, I'll give you a ring sometime. Really? I mean, <laughs> yeah. My girlfriend throws a ton of crazy hound parties. Nice. Can't wait for my first one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you some friends, girl. <gasps> Put your hands up, you sick deviants! All right, sluts. Get ready to suck a lot of pig dick. Uh. <laughs> Did I have an outfit change? Not really. I filmed the other one last night. <laughs> and then I realized 
I totally forgot to talk about it, but here we go. Okay, so what I have found funny about episodes two and three is that they both had a father-daughter dynamic involved. So episode two, Lululand, I thought it was funny and touching and how <laughs> you have father, teenage daughter, broken home, relationships, and how that story plot line is universal. It could be in the human realm, any place, anywhere, anytime, and we can have it in the hell realm. And I also thought it was very sweet how he was trying to reassure her <laughs> that he's still going to be there for her, even though his life, it's a mess. It's as messy as that wackadoo theme park. And I'm starting to figure out, why is this theme park like, what did you have to do where that is your hell <laughs> is working in this theme park? <laughs> Just like in spring break, what? Viv, what's her name? Vivzaka. She had a cool demon body. <laughs> Her friends just look like they go around, just going around having a good time and partying. That doesn't sound like much of I want to do that. <laughs> Which is so, so messed up. But we got a little bit more information about what Blitz is to Luna and how Luna and Blitz, how they cross paths. We haven't really seen how Blitz got Moxie and Millie to cross paths and why they agree to work for him. When obviously Blitz drives Moxie crazy, he's still willing to work for him? <laughs> Are we gonna get that story? I hope so. I like backstories and I know there's a fine line between how much backstory you drop. You don't wanna do info dump, you don't wanna do too much, but you want just enough. But I'm finding their relationships intriguing and I want to know more about how they came to be. So there we go, episodes two and three, Hell the Boss. We've got some more to go, so don't be strangers. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to see you back here when the next video drops. And in the meantime, please take care of yourselves. This is your reminder to go eat something if you haven't in a while and to stand, touch your toes, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all, and until next time.